Glad you stopped by. You'll pardon me if I keep an eye on our vector? That's probably smart. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. So we've been chatting up the crew, and we're at the email terminal here. According to the map, this is also Sam. And I remember uh, we picked up a few things down on the planet about uh, his about the implants or something of that nature, right? Oh, wow. Okay, Pijak. Uh, oh, yeah, these are the memory, the memory things we picked up, right? So Pathfinder, it was marvelous to meet you as a fellow adventurer in the sciences. Could you help with... Could you help us with an experiment? We have, we have an interesting chap here on the Nexus, a young pie jack, what humans sometimes call space monkey. He's part of, the, part of a study on how various species adapt to shipboard life, and we're hoping that you might take him aboard the Tempest. Ah, cool, so we'll have, we're gonna be a pirate, yarr! <laughs> a monkey on our shoulder. Uh, you can pick him up from the Nexus Commons whenever you'd like, don't worry, he's quiet, he's quite friendly, and his routine's very simple. No food after 2359. Is he a gremlin? <laughs> no baths or showers. He doesn't like water. And please limit his exposure to solar radiation. I think he's a gremlin. I think we're in trouble. Don't feed him after midnight. Uh, mark as red. So I thought those meant missions. Archive. Mark all as red. Okay, interesting. Oh, right, no, I guess that's just a new message indicator. I uh, ask him for assistance. Oh, maybe it, it turns into a mission when we go back to the other side there. Uh, so asking for assistance from Ryder to Dr. Aridena. Hello, Ryder. Forgive the intrusion, or to Ryder. Uh, forgive the intrusion. I have an issue that you and Sam should be able to readily solve. It may assist my investigations into the surge or scourge. We can discuss it in person at the Nexus Labs. My regards to you and Sam. All right, cool. So we have to go back there and chat about that. So interviews. Um, hello, Pathfinder. I'm a freelance vid maker, and I could really use your help with my latest project. It's going to be historic, I hope, just like your mission. Can we meet on the Nexus for a chat? I can explain better in person. Hope, uh, <laughs> hope she's not like the, the reporter in the last Mass Effect series. Um, that didn't end so well. Uh, brothers, the Brothers McCoy. My brother Dash was my best friend. It still pains me that he's gone, that we won't build a future here in Andromeda together. But knowing that your family pendants are united, knowing that our family pendants are united, does my heart good. When my wife and I settle here and start a family, our firstborn will carry my brother's name, and hopefully he or she will become my best, my new best friend. My sincerest hopes accompany you and your team, Nigel. Very nice. That vault. So this is from Cora. Uh, can still smell that remnant vault on my armor. A lot of weird, <laughs> a lot of weird poop down there. Uh, like my Huntress manuals would say, the razor's edge between known and unknown teaches you what can be cut away. Now I think back, it reminds me a little a bit about some of the Tempest on Thesia. Same huge spaces and running water. Same sense of huge purpose and can't really understand. Makes me wonder if we'll ever really know what their builders did there. That's a good question. Tempest hacks. All right. Oh, is this about, uh, oh, Tempest hacks? Well, this isn't the Nexus. Thought maybe it was related to that hack job that was going on back on the, um, on the Nexus there, the bomber. I'm pleased to report the Tempest is operating at peak efficiency. So, now that you are in command, I thought I'd share a few secrets, a few secret shipboard hacks that are designed, that I designed, or that the designers and I sneaked into her code. Just send the code JCSB through your Omni tool to open the debug command menu. What? Give all dispen lets you use the coffee dispenser in the galley. An unlimited number of times. Water temp override. Overrides the normal hot water ration in the showers. <laughs> Jump squash queue. Puts your clothes a ahead of everyone else in the laundry cycle. <laughs> Enjoy and don't share them around. Okay, that's kind of funny. Proud to be here. Hey, Pathfinder. Just hitting this point again. Our team. No place I'd rather be. 
here's where we get to fixing things or to fix things soon as we have people on the ground we'll have eyes on how to get them what they need this sort of just make it happen is why i joined uh, hustle and exactly why i came here we'll do it costa uh, liam has indicated a list of media themed media themed frontiers genres include western space opera and oddly turian historical dramas you're the boss from vetra I thought I ought to clarify. I said, I know I said something about back channels, doing what I have to do, being on the Nexus during the bad times. A lot of us used to do a lot of ugly things because survival just isn't that pretty. But in the end, I'm here to help you. So if there's anything you don't like, I won't spoil it. Simple as that. Vetra. Huh, okay. About your dad from Drac. Really? Uh, Vetra told me what happened to your dad. I've lost a lot of people over the years. Figured you could use some cheering up, or at least a distraction. This usually helps me. Drac attached 37 images of various rifles and shotguns <laughs> to our duplicate images. Many are low res or watermarked. <laughs> I was going to say, it's like, they don't, nor they don't normally get all sentimental, but okay, yeah, th th that makes sense. In case you're interested, um, attachment. <clears throat> Krogan uh, Vertility and Aggression. Attached is my Krogan thesis on that I mentioned to you. I know only 500 pages, but I wasn't allowed to go over. If you get through it, I wrote a long dissertation for the Citadel Journal of Medicine, around 1,400 pages, that's much more insightful and includes mating diagrams. Lexi. This is from... <laughs> Okay, thanks. Uh, yoga poses from Lexi. Uh, given the amount of high impact cardio in your exercise routine, I recommend spending five to 10 minutes a day stretching to open your hips and relieve tightness in your lower back. Uh, the poses I've listed below should do nicely. Not to sound elitist, but when it's true, but while it's true humans uh, invented yoga, the Asari perfected it. <laughs> uh, Chris, Bow, standing, spread your legs apart. All right, so th these are the two different, uh, <laughs> the two different styles. Awesome. Uh, data cores from PB. Okay, so hope it's okay that I, that I'm keeping the data core in my room. Example, the escape pod, or IE the escape pod. I guess I just really like the uh, to ponder things before I go to bed. The best ideas come to me while I'm half asleep. Also, I saw it first. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, we know for sure it's gonna sort. It's got some sort of data in it. The trick is how do we get at it? I'll keep you updated, PB. Very nice. All right, cool. So we've got a bunch of emails that we've read through here, and we did get some new missions from that. So if we take a look over here, Helios assignments on the Nexus. We now have speak with the doctor, and we also have monkey in space but we have to do that at the nexus but it comes to the tempest and then additional tasks we now have path of a hero meet curry carry all right cool and uh, that also is on the nexus i believe very good oh, it looks like we have some skills we'll, we'll do that in a minute all right so now we need to go down or upstairs one level right there's drac Is there a way to, okay, how do we get up? I guess the ladders. Up we go. All right, so then we have two people in the bridge, but uh, we also have two people. Pathfinder, you have new email. I just checked my email. All right, so I believe they are back in here. Nice place you There found. we go. Cora? Clean air, plants, helps me think. Something on your mind? <sighs> Maybe. Maybe. Well, she doesn't look very happy. Take it easy. Whoa! Um, go with Whoa? What the hell was that? <sighs> I know that look. It's just my biotics reacting to all this. I don't normally lose it like that. A huntress should have better control. Huntress? Another term for an Asari commando. 
I was one, before the initiative. Some things stick, though, like losing the old man. You were an Asari commando. Let's go with you the dad first. You were second in command. Were you friends, too? He was more a mentor than a friend. Prickly old bastard. But I respected that. People treat geniuses like they're made of cut glass. I didn't care how smart he was. I think he liked someone not caring. Hmm. How does a human soldier get to serve with a sari? Prove your biotics can rip an APC apart, and people get nervous. Funny that. The Alliance found me a cross-species military initiative in a hurry. Sent me to Thessia to serve with a Huntress unit. One of the few places where my powers were welcomed. Your father made another one. Hmm. All right, so uh, we've all lost something. I'm still here. We can talk. Uh, yeah, sure. There's a lot of loss going around. Dad, the Golden Worlds. A friend and mentor who trained you to be a Pathfinder. I said I wouldn't get in the way, and I meant it. But I prepped for years as your father's second. Then he chooses you. Yeah, that's pretty rough. An untrained Pathfinder and all this mess to fix? The hell was he thinking? I kind of agree with her. Is this going to be a problem, Cora? I don't want a rival. Just answers. It, it's done. Best I can do now is be your second. Keep your father's mission alive. Then maybe we'll all get what we came yeah, out here for. Yeah, that's gotta hurt. I, uh, what did you come here for? Um, I, so I feel for. So what brought you out to Andromeda? Biotics like this, thinking like an Asari huntress. I never had a place. Best I could be was a useful freak. <laughs> The initiative was meant to be different. Will be different if this mission succeeds. So I'm seeing it through. It's quiet in here. I can keep the plants watered while I work. First job, see if there's any news on the Asari Ark. If they made it, we could use some Asari expertise. If you want to talk, I'll be here. All right. Uh, so I thought that was a question. I didn't realize that was the, um, the heart. Uh, response or the, the 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 feeling response I guess probably missed the the romance option in there although uh, probably not the greatest idea to try romance with her she's pretty peeved that I am the pathfinder I would think so now let's go check out that's not where we want there was one more person back here or was there no may, uh, maybe not Gil where are you? You're way down the other end. Can we get down the other end? So this, where did we just find Cora? There. So we want to go this way. No, we don't. Where's Gil? Through here? There we go, engineering. Let's head down this way. There you are. I see you over there. Open the door. Pathfinder, making the rounds. Yes, I am. Slumming it, huh? Hey. Want to see how the riffraff are making out? Hey, don't be like that. Someone has to. Hey, this is the most important part of the ship. Whoa! Don't tell me they put someone smart in charge for a change. <laughs> I am at your command. Just want to see how things are going with the ship. I can coax more out of this baby than some might think, but we shouldn't go too far or push too hard between Nexus stops. For now. It just feels good to be stretching our wings, you know? Locked in idle too long, you start to drift. People, same as ships. Stuck on the Nexus, I gotta say, I was regretting joining the initiative. Uh, you and many others? I doubt you were the only one. Yes. But it's a new thing for me, regret. I tend to live the way I work. Kind of feel it, do it. Not a lot of close ties. No real sense of purpose. Figured maybe I'd find my true calling in Andromeda. Then I got here and, oops, I just made a decision <laughs> there's no turning back from. Yes, I was you going did. nuts on that station. You can't know how jazzed I was when you showed up. All right, yeah, so this is the, the final one now that lets us go romance or... Um, emotional or logical, maybe? Uh, so, I'll help you find your purpose, or, well, not me specifically. Now, let's go with, let's, let's go with helping him find his purpose. Cluster, eventually the galaxy. If your purpose is here, we'll find it. Then the question will be, what will I do with it? <laughs> 
In the meantime, you just keep pointing this ship wherever you want it to go, and I'll make sure she can get there. Deal? Deal. All right, there we go. Um, I think that's everyone on this, or those, those are the two, first two. We've got the Tempest down there. Oh no, this is the Tempest, I meant the, um, the rover. Let's head. You have new email at your terminal, Pathfinder. I, really? Buy, sell, terminal, strike team. Okay, well, the email's gonna have to wait. We're heading on into here to talk to these people. All right. really spoken since orientation. You're setting up in here. Huh? Oops, I cut, cut off that yeah, other person. Yeah, I'm going through what we got out of that vault. If I can crack this data storage box, it'll help with a personal project back on the Nexus. This is a nice, out-of-the-way place where I can tinker, and I can sleep anywhere. It's not exactly homey, but I like that about it. Not really looking for a home. Oh, but I will help you find everyone a home. While I'm with you, at least. Slow down, will you will? Or will you? Uh, not sticking around. Let's ask her that. Should I consider you a temporary addition? Everything's temporary, Ryder. I get it. You want to know who's on your ship, so you're here to figure out what makes me tick, right? Something like that? Sure. Well, I was born in a log cabin on rural Haitiana to simple but loving parents just trying to... <laughs> <laughs> I look forward, not back, Ryder. Why snooze through my life story? Get to know me out in the field. While we're uncovering the mysteries of this galaxy. All right. That's why I'm here. Got tired of yawning. All right. So it looks like we have, we, we have the possibility to romance anybody on our ship. Uh, you crave excitement, huh? Or oh, so we don't even have the. Oh, that's interesting. She is very different. Uh, so you should try sleeping more. Boredom drove you here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I think we'll go. We'll just go with. You left everything and everyone you knew because the non-romance options for now. Well, I came with someone I knew. Then she got bored with me. <laughs> Ryder, the Milky Way was so... Been there, done that. Even if I hadn't done it, someone had. If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I live for the unknown. For the never been done. Not buying it? Uh, should we push her? Let's push her. That's just the one thing you want me to know about you. Let's start with that then. All right. Buy me a drink sometime. Who knows what will spill out of my mouth. Interesting. <sighs> Tell you what. I need remnant scrap. Remtech, I call it. For projects like the one I mentioned. Which you're gonna love, by the by. Promise to bring me what you scrounge, and I'll submit to all your questions. All right, there Rem we go. Remtech, huh? You got it. That's an interesting pose you got there, there, PB. I like, that's right, because they always look at you when you're in, no matter what they're doing. That's so funny. Um, we cut off the conversation that was happening in here, which is sad. Loadout station? Oh, okay, cool. What is this? Nothing. Interesting. All right, so let's head. Here we've got Suvi and Gallo. Let's go chat with Gallo first. Glad you stopped by. You'll pardon me if I keep an eye on our vector. That's probably smart. Uh, I wanted like to say that's that's cool, Victor. Very own ship is there. Uh, it's exhilarating. Uh, you said you designed it. Oh, he did. Let's go with lot. Yeah. They like that, like that more, I think. Tempest? Test pilot mostly. Plunging through the Nemean abyss was almost a preparation for the scourge. Of course, it took a whole team to build the Tempest. I was the only one to come to Helios, though. Why did you? What can I say? We poured our hearts into a ship that wouldn't realize her potential until Andromeda. I could have stood on the shore and waved goodbye, or took the leap to see how it all turned out. That makes sense. All right, so I'd have done the same big step. Yeah, I'd go that way. I get it. Like leaving a good story half finished. The team liked that one of us was going. It felt right after all we went through. I remember Serena debugging line 2281 over and over, <coughs> chewing that green pencil. Tion and O'Connell arguing equations, tapping on the console, three drips of coffee on the corner. You remember all that? Hmm? Oh, yes. Solarians have photographic memories, and apparently mine's unusually sharp. Hmm. Like my past is still happening. 
Though so. I suppose with the Salarian arc missing, you might not get many chances to compare. Yeah, so be careful what you say to this person. He will remember. Uh, any word on the Salarian arc? Oh, right, Did yeah. Did you hear anything about the arc back in the Nexus? Not a peep. Isn't that strange? You'd think there'd be something. Not that I dislike your company, but it's lonely without other Salarians. Yeah, uh, there's Tan. We'll find them. There's ten. Let's go with we'll find them. Don't sweat it. We'll bring the Solarians home. Of course we will. I just have to be patient. That's all. I should get back to it. But thank you. I was afraid the Tempest would be mothballed after we lost your father. We built her for this. She deserves to be in a Pathfinder's hands. Please come by any time. All right, cool. Tempest technology. Kalo. Talk to Suvi. Scans of the scourge. All that dark energy twisting and turning on itself. It's splendid. Uh, scans of the scourge. All right. Does have beauty. Looks dangerous. It is gorgeous, actually. I suppose it is a rather darkly beautiful phenomenon. Darkly beautiful. I like that. Helios is incredible, isn't it? Not just constructs like the Scourge and the Remnant Vaults. Just all of it. So alien. A constant reminder of the divine intelligence behind all creation. Uh, what? Divine intelligence? You mean a god? Yes, I believe in a higher power. I know it's a little odd, but I am a scientist because science brings me closer to something greater than myself. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm going to go this way. There's nothing about the universe that suggests a divine intelligence. And most of what we've seen in Helios is artificial, as you said yourself. Yes, but we're creative beings. Whoever made the remnant was too. Why should that be proof against a god? Wouldn't a true creator want to pass on the drive to invent? Uh, then why bother saying <laughs> Believe what you want. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so both of these answers are pretty interesting. Um, then why bother with science? Um, I guess we'll go this way because, I mean, there's a lot of scientists that believe in a higher power, so that seems irrelevant. Um, let's go that way. You're welcome to your beliefs. It's good to have different voices on the team. Excellent. Oh, speaking of the team, I should update the folks back in the Nexus with the latest reports. We'll talk later. All right. Interesting conversation that was. Uh, let's go into our skills. And we have no points, but oh my goodness. <clears throat> That's right. We have a whole crew of people here. So Cora. Oh, it's interesting. She has no points left, but it's still showing. And then Vetra probably be the same. Yeah, okay, yeah, because we, 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 we've upgraded them quite a bit. If I take a look, yeah, we've got three points in the first one, and then three and two, and we've got the same for Korra, right? Three, three, and two. So if we look at Drac, what is his options? Oh, click again. All right, so Blood Rage. All right, so this is his combat power. We've got Incinerate, which is his tech power. Flak Cannon, which comes with 18 points, and then Krogan Warrior, which is his, his attack overall passive ability, and then the Veteran, which is his, oh wait, that's combat, combat passive. They're both combat passive, but this one looks more defensive in nature. Regeneration, health, shields, and this is, yeah, this is more combat in nature. So I think let's, let's grab, so let's see here. He's already got one point in Blood Rage. This does melee... Damage, regeneration, charge speed. What is incinerate all about? Initial damage, burning duration. <clears throat> so blood rage. Uh, we, he started with, like, they started with these ones. I feel like we should at least get them up to kind of like rank three. Just so that they've got the base in that first ability. And then I do want to, I think we'll probably go similar here with, so with his combat training... And then more power damage, and then shock on it. Yeah, like see, these are these are great. We definitely want that. He's got three points left, and then let's give him some defense, just like we have with the other two. 
and then that's his oldest points. I think with him though, like I do like his blood rage stuff, but I think it would be fun to make him pretty techy as well. Prime for combo durations. Yeah, I think like getting, working on, uh, maybe get him up to level three in this one and then start working on incinerate with him. So let's confirm that. And PB, unless PB, maybe PBs are tech, huh? Oh no, she's another biotic. Well, I guess most of the Asari are biotics, aren't they? So we got invasion, or is this biotic? Invasion, recharge speed. So what is this? Enemy, what is this? Oh no, she's a tech. I think, she, yeah, she's full tech. Tech, antibiotic. Oh, pull, interesting, okay. Um, I might not go pull with her, because I've got pull. Unless, uh, like, she could help with, um, like, pulling people out of cover and then other people uh, whacking a combo on that, though, too. But maybe it makes, it'll be a lot more fun to, like, go shockwave with her. But invasion. All right, so this is hacks into her enemy's hard suits, infecting them with an invasive four, invasive four that weakens enemy defenses. Yeah, like, this, this is pretty cool. So we'll go up here, so the recharge speed, and then... Invasion now spreads to nearby enemies. Sweet. And then this changes to duration, epidemic, sabotage. Wow. Let's bring her up to full there. And then her dualist ability is her passive biotic. Interesting. Okay, so this gives her weapon damage. All right, so this is weapon damage and weapon force. So we'll take that. This is power damage and power force. So this will help with her biotic abilities. Dualist, survivalist, that's more of that, more of that, regeneration. I think I'm going to I'm gonna get her all the way up to level 3 in there first. And dual, hmm. Well, is this a, this is a biotic power as well? Yeah, it is. Okay, so it does still make sense to go into her biotics. So let's grab that, and then we don't have enough points for that, right? Yeah, so there we go. We'll lock that in, confirm. And Liam, what do we got for Liam? Is he a tech as well, or is he... Uh, so no, he's got combat, com so yeah, he's full on combat and some tech. All right, cool, cool. And he's already got, oh, we must have upgraded him earlier with a little bit of frag damage. That's right, because we took him out on the first mission, didn't we? So let's get his damage up, and then let's go into his training for his military training, give him some more power and some more accuracy, and then he's get his defense up. There we go. Cool. Um, but Havoc Overload actually is pretty cool. I used that one in the previous... Um, so if we run into, like, mechanical enemies, this stuff is really good. Havoc Stripe, though, that sounds pretty awesome. Prime them for combo de de detonations. Havoc Stripe. Leaps forward and stabs down at... Oh, wow. Oh, I think Korra's got something like that, doesn't she? Where she, sh she jumps in and attacks? That's pretty cool. Let's just confirm that. Very good. Um, and then if we go into the codex, what do we got here in the story so far? So finding home, we don't have anything new in finding home at the moment. We do have crew like no other. Oh, wow. Okay, so we got Dro Drock. After earning Drock's respect on Eos, he agreed to join. Okay, so we did read that. So that must be like the second paragraph now. Drack was one of my many Krogan, one of the many Krogans awoken from stasis to help put down a mutiny on the Nexus. When the Krogans weren't given the authority they were promised, his people left to settle Helios on their own way. Drax's granddaughter, Kesh, stayed on the Nexus. He might stay. He might say she's keeping them honest. All right, cool. And then Korra. You've socialized a little with Korra, learning more about her background as a biotic and a sorry, commando. Uh, you and Kalo sometimes chat in your free time. Kalo will take any excuse to talk about the Tempest. Despite her years of service, Lexi feels a little daunted by working in the field. However, she is excited about the prospect of researching the Ket. PB mostly keeps out of the way. She's guarded about herself. And you've pushed back a little. Yes, I have. Uh, she reminds me a lot. Like, her character style reminds me a bit of Jack from the... Uh, was that the third game? I can't remember now. It was the biotic. Uh, Vetra. Vetra likes to describe herself as somebody who gets things done. She seems very committed to your mission and the Pathfinder team's success. The fact that she brought her sister Sid with her to the Andromeda might have something to do with her dedication. That's true. Gil, 
Uh, you've, you've left Gil to his job taking care of the Tempest system, which seems to keep him busy. Suvi, uh, Suvi Aswar, Anwar is the Tempest resident science officer. She closely works with the research team on the Nexus, analyzing data and Sam collects in, or that you and Sam collect in the field. While chatting, Suvi revealed herself to be a spiritual person. You've entered into a, an invigorating discussion about faith. Um, and Suvi appeared to come away respecting your position while staying firm with her own. All right, cool. So we're keeping everybody happy on the crew, which is important. <laughs> uh, we got, oh man, there's, there's a ton of stuff in here. I don't think we'll ever be able to get through all of this, <laughs> especially the way that I've been going through it so far. Um, but... With that, we will end the episode here. We've So uh, next thing we're going to do is going to head in the Galaxy Mac and go back to the Nexus. We've chatted with everybody on board. And, oh, we got email. We probably got a bit more email in here, or no? We do. Reminder. Uh, thanks for ta thanks for talking. Things feel better. Oh, this is from Cora. I uh, thought you don't feel fixed yet, though, though they don't feel fixed yet. Remember to take time for yourself, too. Work's important, but so is time to grieve. Grief and fear cannot rule you. Let them be your faithful servants, protective of their mistress. Loss serves a huntress like fuel serves fire. Ooh. Uh, P.S. Plants are coming along. Sam and I are learning about botany together. Interesting times. And then from Suvi. Dear Ryder, I'm grateful for your talk earlier. Even if we end up disagreeing, debate can be invigorating. I agree with that. Very true. Cool. So there we go. We've looked through the final emails. I hope you guys are all enjoying as much as I am. We will head back to the Nexus on the next episode. Bye-bye for now.